Hi everyone, it's Nicolette here from Journey and Daughters in Remuera, your home for premium chalk paint and furniture decor in Auckland. Um, so today I am just going to jump on and talk about the Clear Cling, Clear Cling Stamps um, by Redesign. Uh, they're a reasonably new product, we've had them for a little bit. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to show them or show you what they are because they are a little bit different to like, you know, a stencil or a transfer or decoupage paper. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I will get back to you. Um, and like normal, this will be saved as a live and then popped up on our blog with all of our other um, training videos and everything. Um, right, so decor stamps. They come like this. Um, we've got a few different designs, I'm going to be doing an order for some more, uh, and you can use them on furniture, chalk paint, uh, paper, fabric, all sorts of different things. Um, so we've got like these ones which are letters, uh, we've got these ones, this one is called Elegant Scrolls. Sorry, the light's just reflecting, but you can see different scrolls. They, these ones are really cool. Um, I don't have this one open to show you, but these are cool because you can use individual pieces to create your own designs. Um, so all of these different scrolls here are individual. They're not um, one big piece. The one I'm going to show you is one big one. Um, oh, actually, you can see here on the back, there might be better. That shows the different... Uh, designs that are in it. Similar to I suppose how a transfer shows the different parts. Um, and then we've got ooh, this big acrylic block which you can use, you don't need to use, I'll show you how to do it without it, but if you're doing lots of stamping, especially on something big, this could also be a good option. Um, which you would put your stamps on the back and then using the handle you can press it on um, much easier with a bit more uh, evenness, I suppose, <laughs> I'm trying to say. Um, and then I'm going to show you today, so you can use paint, um, but I'm just going to show you the ink pads. So they come like this, there's white, uh, black or copper, they're quite cool because they're all magnetic. Um, but yeah, ink pads to put it on, and it's the ink that works really well, obviously with these but onto your furniture, um, your chalk paint, your paper, whatever. Um, so the one that I'm just going to quickly show, so this is quite a quick little video hopefully, um, is the handwritten notes. So mine looks dirty because I've been using black ink. Uh, so it comes like this, I've taken it out of its plastic. Um, and then you've got it like this, and it comes between two plastic sheets which you want to hold on to to keep it all nice and clean. So you want to take them off. Um, mine does look really dirty but I swear it's clean. Um, and it looks like this. So one side is flat, the, the back, and that's what you would put onto your, um, or I suppose the back here like this would stick on. And then the other side is inverted, um, and it is raised, and I think if you can kind of see, but this is all a raised surface, surface. so like, you know, a standard um, stamp, you know, that we used to play with at school and stuff. Um, and then your inks, again, I should have used white, it would have looked a lot cleaner, but I've used black, I've got it all over my fingers. Um, it does wash off really well though, I just washed it off in cold water and it's come off pretty pretty well. Um, I was really happy and it came off my fingers pretty well as well, just a quick wash. So yeah, I'm really happy with that because um, I'm not the neatest person. So it comes like this, you take the lid off and then it has, this is plastic, like a little plastic cover and this will help keep it uh, moist so it doesn't dry out. And if it stays out of the sun and everything, it should last about 12 months. So you put, this is the little case, or the little top part, put that aside. And then just a standard ink pad. Um, so you've got this, so oh, I'm going to try and do this. 
a little bit awkwardly. I um, am just going to do my stamp onto some tissue paper, um, just because it will show it up nicely on the camera. Right, so you get your stamp or your ink pad and you just want to place it on the top, hopefully you can see, like so. I'm just going to quickly put it down and do some more. Um, and you can see now where it's got the black ink on compared to the clear. And then you want to press it on your paper. Just see if I can flip this a little bit down. Oh no, sorry, it's not going to stand. <laughs> it's very up close and personal, sorry. Um, so you want to put it down. And you might just be able to see here. Um, and I will show you what I was just playing with today, just for a piece, um, a shop display. Um, it's definitely easier if you can do it flat. Um, keeping it flat and then just press your fingers over the edge or over the whole stamp just to press it down and then lift your stamp up and mine's not perfect because I moved it but you get this nice image um, so if you put more ink on you'll get a more defined surface or defined image but remember like everything with um, chalk paint and everything it's actually fun not to have it perfectly perfect. Um, it can look really nice just having slight imperfections. Um, so I'm just going to pop, now that I'm not using it, my lid, the little lid part. It does say do not discard, so don't worry. Um, and then the lid back on. And as I said, it's all magnetic, so once it's on, it's on. Um, so put that to the side. Then this I will just go and clean up as I said some water and I just used my fingers and just rubbed it all off and it came off really well um, and it's a big one so you can see with a big one it could be easier to have it on the back especially on a big piece of furniture like I can imagine it all over um, these other ones like this I think this one's really beautiful that um, elegant scroll scrolls <laughs> Um, you can, oh gosh, sorry, the light's gone funny. Um, how different is the light now that daylight savings has ended? Anyway, but you can um, do little bits here and there, and I think these ones would be beautiful and amazing to have. Um, all of these ones, there's a few different designs with different parts that you can use bits and pieces here and there and make your own design. I think they're a, good, a great option. Um, so yes, that's like the real basics of the stamps, but I was really impressed with how easy it is, um, how easy it was or is to clean up, because that's always a big thing. Um, yeah, and then I will just show you. It's not finished at all, but I was just playing with doing some like stamping on this chair. Oh, it's quite hard to see. Um, but I just kind of went over the whole thing. I wanted it to, you know, just to have, play and have some fun with it. And then I really lightly sanded it back and then I'm just, I need to wax it still. Um, but yeah, it's just a really fun, another beautiful option. I can really imagine using these with, um, say, a transfer and having the two different parts on there or, you know, maybe doing some stencil and then some stamps. Um, but with one of those big transfers that already have a lot of like script or something, I think that could look really stunning. So I'm looking forward to playing with these more in the future. If you do have any questions, please let me know. Um, and as I said, I'll put it up on the blog. Um, yeah, the stencil one from last week is up there now as well. I did that this morning. <laughs> I hope you'll have a wonderful afternoon and we'll talk to you again soon. Cheers. <laughs>